Hello YouTube, this is the follow-up video I'm doing uh, after my original video entitled WTF Nady uh, about their MM242 personal mixer. So in the previous video, um, that'll give you all the context and everything you need, but in the previous video, I said that <clears throat> the, um, excuse me, the, um, Customer service representative at Nady told me if I use any other power supply other than their Nady brand 9-volt power supply for this mixer, um, that it would, he told me uh, I would blow it up. He told me that I would blow up the mixer and that I would fry the mixer. Um, I also said in that video that that's wrong um, and it doesn't take an electrical engineer to know that. Uh, especially if you've used power supplies. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't. <clears throat> my voice is scratchy today. If you used uh, power supplies for guitar pedals and things like that, which I have some experience with. So um, this video is just to prove him wrong and to show anybody else out there that is using this mixer um, or just bought this mixer for thirty dollars and doesn't want to pay another twenty-five dollars for the, just the power supply because it doesn't come with one and doesn't want to use a nine volt battery that'll quickly get drained. Uh, I'm going to show you what I did here. So essentially I made uh, a little bit of an adapter, but I really didn't have to make much at all. So um, what I have used before for my pedal board is a, uh, a Y splitter. Okay. For um, it's a 5.5 .5 by 2.1 millimeter. And it just goes from one female end to two male ends. I'm running my Korg ES1 and this uh, Shady MM242 mixer uh, off of the Korg ES1's factory power supply. Um, and all I did was, uh, the whole problem with this mixer is that the, uh, the barrel, that's the panel mounted barrel uh, for the power supply on this thing is too small for any of the power supplies that I have. It won't, a boss won't fit. Um, the cord power supply didn't fit. N none of these adapters fit. But what I, I found is that I, I have a ton of power supplies laying around that I don't use. I've just collected them over the years. Um, I found one, it's like a Boston acoustics, 12 volt, whatever power supply. It doesn't matter what any of that is. All that matters is that you find one where the barrel, the cable end, <clears throat> fits in to this mixer, okay? Uh, fits into the um, the female panel-mounted barrel for the power supply. And I got lucky and I found one. So I just took it. I cut it off at a very long, um, a long section. With enough section left over, if I needed to, I could solder this back up if I ever needed to use that random-ass, um, you know, power supply. And uh, I'm trying to find, yeah, right there. So I just used a uh, used a continuity tester um, feature on my digital multimeter, and I got it for I think twelve or fifteen bucks on Amazon. Uh, it, it it works like the flukes do. Um, and I found which wire was for the center pin and which one was for the uh, outer ring you know ground and hot and I taped one of them off and just soldered it up I cut <clears throat> I took this sorry I took this Y adapter I have a couple there uh, you can get them for three dollars or less on eBay um, they've got pretty thin wiring though and that's one thing I don't like about this it's much thinner than the uh, the wire from the Boston acoustics power supply but I digress so I cut one of the barrels off the end because this one is way too big uh, to fit into here. And just soldered this one up. And this is proof of concept. So uh, channel channel A is the EMX and channel or channel one is the EMX or the ES1. Jesus, sorry. ES1. And then channel two is the EMX. Okay. And I've as you can see the mixer's powered on. And the ES1 is powered on. And you can see.
see it peaking. Um, so one of the complaints uh, uh, about this mixer is that it's got no headroom, and boy, it has no headroom. <clears throat> um, this thing is, is cranked way down. If I crank it up more, I can hear a serious hum, and that's probably um, some kind of uh, ground loop issue um, from running the Korg ES1 power supply to... to two separate I mean th that's what happens with a with a guitar effects pedal board right that's why um, you know you'd end up getting an isolated power supply like that so sorry about the terrible video quality but um, you know otherwise you get some ground loop stuff so um, but it works and it didn't cost me $25 and I don't know if you guys can see this but um, nothing is blown up and nothing's on fire. So I guess uh I guess shady audio was just wrong. Um so yeah, that's it. That's my workaround. If you have any questions, uh post up in the comments and I'd be happy to walk you through um uh, how to do this for yourself. There were other options as well. I was considering um just putting in a standard five point five uh diameter barrel in here like you do when you build um you know your own guitar effects pedals there's that green one right there is a feedback looper that has one uh, as does my aby switching pedal that i built right there the silver one um so i have them in bulk but i didn't want to modify this thing it's a day old i didn't want to void any warranty but i probably am right now right by using this uh this wrong wrong power supply that's going to blow everything up any second now but um i figured this is important to share um so that's another option uh, another one would be to just use that barrel end and solder it on to you know a, a proper <clears throat> any nine volt uh negative center i think one amp was the rating power supply but i'm telling you there's no way this thing uses 1000 milliamps it just can't i don't see how that's possible um, so I think you can get away with less, but, um, so I might try that to see if it gets rid of this hum. Um, but for right now it works, man. And I was able to replace my bandmates, um, you know, this mixer here, which only has two channels, uh, in stereo. So unfortunately this is one of the only options out there for, uh, a four channel stereo that gives you, um, you know, quarter inch TS uh, input jacks. The only other ones I could find were Chinese knockoffs of this, and they either use 9 volt positive center or 12 volt negative center, and they're like $55. So, really, at that price point, you might as well just get one of these knowing you're going to pay another 25 for the right power supply. Uh, the problem is, I, I think a lot of people don't know that. They know you have to pay for an, an, an op, the optional power supply. What they probably don't figure, and Nady doesn't want to tell you until after the fact, until you get the instructions and everything, is that you can only use theirs, which is, again, false. It's a marketing ploy uh, to get you, you know, to sucker you out of more money. So don't believe the hype. Uh, thanks for watching.